So, to review, her literal flaws are, she wants to find people to love and give her guidance. She believes in the good of people, even if they are evil. There is nothing wrong with this heavenly creature. No hardship or cross she has to bear. She's not greedy, prideful, self-centered, emotionally stunted, emotionally unstable, selfish, reckless, overconfident, naive, blinded by love, womanizing, stupid, psychopathic, self-righteous, narcissistic, inexperienced, overly ambitious, narrow-minded, morally ambiguous, or arrogant. She has no vendetta, addiction, superiority complex, bloodlust, jealousy, or lust for power. She is a person with no flaw that could be considered something to work on personally while being incredible at every activity she engages in. This, in common analysis, is known as a Mary Sue. As much as people fight the tide on this, it is exactly what Ray is. She is a classic example. It has nothing to do with her being a girl. A Mary Sue character isn't good for a story because there's no room to grow, to learn, to change. She's already made it there. She's already better than Luke, Poe, Kylie, Finn, and the rest of the characters as they have a semblance of a flaw that is utilized in the film. Arguably. But not her. She is perfection, while going through no hardships or tough lessons. In fact, she imparts lessons to other far more experienced individuals regularly. I bypassed the compressor. Huh. Why are you doing back there? I'm working on it! You will never be as strong as Darth Vader. You might need this. I think I can handle myself. And I find myself watching her story unfold and thinking, how can I relate to this? I am not, nor have I met, perfection. I didn't know it existed, so I don't believe in her, or root for her, as I am reassured that the writing will take good care of her, and I am just here for the ride. People have argued that this is because the Force is attempting to counterbalance Kylo Ren, and this explains her abilities. To which all I can say is, that is a choice for the writers to make. A cop-out to make your character incredible. It is not a rule from the universe. Besides, if I accepted it as a reason for this godlike monolith of a role model to exist, then she would still exist. Even if this idea makes sense, it's still there. It's the same issue with Luke. Even if 30 years of development explains why he is sheepishly sipping milk from a whalish giraffe, he is still doing it, and that is the problem. Rey may have the flawless character with incredible abilities that she earned fair and square, which she didn't, but the problem is that she would still be that at base. Who connects to that?